Hey guys, Chris the Midwest Bass Hunter, and today I want to show you how I put this on my kayak. All right, so I've been kayak fishing for a while and I decided I want to get a depth finder kind of up my game a little bit, see if I could learn a little bit more about fishing. So I went ahead and got, bought this Humbird Helix 5. And then I wanted to mount it to my native watercraft um, Titan. Now, a lot of people I know, they said, just go ahead and drill holes in that thing, don't worry about it. Uh, mount a battery centrally somewhere and then mount your, your fish finder wherever you want and um, run power to it. And I just didn't feel good about drilling holes in my kayak. I mean, I know you can do it. I know it's not that big a deal, but I just didn't want to do it. So I looked for other options and I found an option that I went ahead and went with. So I went ahead and I got this, this here box. It's called a Yak Attack Cell Block. And basically what this does, it mounts right onto this, onto this rail. So my kayak has these rails on it all the way around. There's one on that side, one on this side, back here in the back. Um, that you can mount stuff on so I went ahead and got this This yak attack cell block. So this is my fish finder all contained in this cell block this box So and this box is just made out of heavy-duty plastic. It's actually um, It is pretty heavy actually So then I can just slide it into this rail and tighten it right up so then if I have this thing in the back of my pickup I'm driving to uh, to a lake or something, I gotta stop at the gas station and get a bite to eat or whatever. I don't have to leave this thing mounted on my kayak. I can just slip it off and, and throw it in, in the pickup. I don't have to have it outside. Um, now, you could do the same thing uh, with the centrally mounted system or whatever, just take the head unit off. Um, then, so basically I needed three items to do this install. Well, four if you count the depth finder. But I need the Yak Attack cell block. I needed. Um, the ram mount, and that is what mounts the fish finder to the cell block. And actually on the top, on this lid piece, on the underside, I'm not going to take it apart to show you, but there's a bunch of different holes pre-drilled in it so that you, there's different patterns for different things. Like, for example, this ram mount. There was a specific set of holes specifically for this mount so you get them drilled in the exact right spot. You don't have to worry about getting them off a few degrees or whatever and then not having your bolts line up drilling bigger holes, blah, blah, blah. So that worked really good. Plus there's a recess in there so you can put a nut up in there um, and it fits in there and you don't have to try and get a wrench inside of there to mount it all together. Um, so the Yak Attack cell block, the ram mount, and then this is called a Yak Attack switchblade. And this actually, this is my transducer. It's mounted on this right here. And this goes down into the water and just folds down. So it just folds down into the water. I've got it about an inch under the hole of my boat. And then if I'm in shallow water or if I'm not going to use it or when I'm going to launch or get my boat out of the water, I can just simply fold it up and get it out of the way so it doesn't get damaged. Uh, so that works pretty nicely. And then I've got all the extra cable all wrapped up. There's kind of a little cleats over here that you can wrap the, the cable around. Um, for all the extra cable because you know all these transducers they come with a really long cable so you just kind of tie all that stuff up it does look kind of messy but it's not a big deal i've been fishing with this now for several months and i've had no issues with it There's a door right here and that's where your battery is housed. So this is just a, an outdoor battery. This is a, this is just an interstate um, AGM battery. 
you want to make sure it's an AGM battery. If you use a liquid acid battery, obviously you can't lay it on its side. But being an AGM battery, you can lay it on its side. And it slides right in there. And then you just hook your wires up. You got to have a fusible link. So whatever fuse that your depth finder calls for, put a fuse in there. And then you just put it all in there and away you go. Um, it's not the only way you can do this. And I've heard some, some criticisms and, and they are real. So for example, if you're paddling this, now this is a... Uh, Titan Propel, so I have a pedal system. It's not in the in the kayak right now. I took it out so we could do this video. But um, so I'm pedaling this kayak most of the time. Now, uh, yesterday I was fishing in some uh, some pretty skinny water that was pretty weedy, and I didn't use the pedal system. I actually used um, I went ahead and used a paddle. But um, I didn't even take my depth finder because I knew the water pretty well and it's pretty shallow. There's really no reason to have it. But if you're paddling if you have a paddle kayak only, this could get in your way when you're paddling. Now, one thing on this kayak to solve that is that I can just move this forward. I can slide it all the way up here and I can still use it. I can still see it well, I can reach it. It's not a problem. But if you're paddling only and you don't have a place to move it forward, it could get in the way of your pedaling. The other thing I've heard is that it could get in the way if you're landing fish and so on. I really haven't had that problem, um, so I, I don't know, that, that could be an issue, but I haven't noticed that to be much of a problem. The other drawback is it is heavy, so it, it puts all this weight on one side of my kayak so it's not uh, balanced out. The way that I compensate for that, I'll just balance in the back of the kayak, my tackle, I'll put some of the heavier stuff on the other side to try and balance it out. So that's how I did this, guys. It's not the only way to do it, but it's a way to do it. Um, I'll put a link in the description for all these different items that I used to put this uh, little system together. Um, it works really good for me, guys. If you have any questions, just leave a comment, and I'll be sure to try and answer them for you. Thanks for watching today. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell so you don't miss anything. Lots of great fishing content and gear reviews and just little how-to things like this. Thanks for watching.